You ready to fight? You ready. Good. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Topuria gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see yeah. if he can wrap. Real quick leg kick. All right, early round action here. All eyes are on T-City, Brian Ortega. We know how dangerous he is on the floor, but how about the striking team? I mean, he's gotten so much better. It was during the time away where Brian Ortega developed a great jab from the southpaw position, using his power hand out in front and just really thumping you with that front hand. Brian Ortega is a great grappler, but he now has the stand-up skills to match, and that's going to make him even more successful as he goes forward. Topuria getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Good solid strike on the ground. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Beautiful transition. Ortega's in half guard now. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Let's get the side. Beautiful ground strikes landed. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, effective use of the jab by T-City, Brian Ortega. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, great block there. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Just over two minutes to go in round one. T-City gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice shot there by the Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. He's looking to land the right just out of range. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice combination of elbows. And as a lot of fighters will say, there's no pad on the elbow. There's no pad on the elbow, and it cuts people. The more you elbow, the more you're going to see guys get cut. Like everybody that fights for the Ferguson just are dripping blood at the end of the fights. Nice. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Ortega's in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Takes his back now. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by T-City, Brian Ortega. 30 seconds to go on the round. Ortega's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. He passes the half. Under 20 seconds now to go. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they
they both show true skill on the ground. Five minutes in the books. Stop. All right, take a seat here, bud. Come on, let's get this together now, all right? You've been here before, and you're going to overcome this. You're down right now, but I need you to work hard. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, clean hook there. Oh, back and forth we go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique up. Effective use of the jab there by Ortega. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, he lands a hook. Swing and a miss by T-City, Brian Ortega. That was a big check. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, oh this could do it. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Topuria gets the single leg takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses there with the left. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Leg kick lands. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Ortega. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Beautiful right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Slips to avoid that left. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can pull off. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Deuce trying to finish the fight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. Now 
now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Drop that shot! Holy smokes! What a fight! What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission and he squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world.